Hi all, welcome to the fifth week of the course on early childhood care and education. Hope the fourth week had made you realize that play is an activity that gives a feeling of joy and it is all about having fun. But a deeper understanding of the previous week module would have made you understand play from three different perspectives. Firstly, play as a medium of learning where adults play a role in creating activities and play situations for a particular learning outcome. Secondly, play as a spontaneous activity wherein the child is in complete control of the whole situation. Thirdly, as therapeutic play where the child is helped to overcome physical and psychological problems through play which will be again done under the supervision of a doctor or a psychiatrist. Now the fifth week course takes you one step further of how can play be incorporated in the curriculum of ECE. Curriculum refers to the instructions and content regarding academics that is taught in a school or for any other specific programs. Students are expected to learn skills, gain knowledge for future survival. A curriculum can be planned by the class teacher or an institution can follow any one of the established curriculum approaches. The popular curriculum that is followed in an early childhood education center are kindergarten, Montessori, Waldorf, Reggio Emilia, project based and high scope methods. Each of these curriculum has their own philosophies and the way of learning. Play can be weaved into any one of this curriculum and that is being followed by an early educator in the center. Though play has got innumerable benefits when blended into the ECE curriculum, this week focuses on facilitating the three R's, namely reading, writing and arithmetic through play. The first module on curriculum of playway approach supporting communication skills. It talks about the strategies of integrating play to support language development and thereby the skills of communication in young children. It would also specify the specific role of the facilitator with an insight of the developmental milestones pertinent to play and communication of children in 0 to 6 years. The second module on the playway approach curriculum to support Early literacy and numeracy would deal with the component strategies to integrate play and suggestive activities to each of the literacy and numeracy aspects. The third module on curriculum of playway approach that supports reading skills would explain the complexity of the terms play and the reading readiness and it would provide an array of methods that can be used by the facilitator to support the readiness skills in young children. Now gear up and pay attention to the content of the fifth week. Thank you.